It was the last game of the regular season and fan appreciation night here at Bob Wren. Would the Copperheads reinforce their appreciation for the fans with a win, or would they get struck by mad cow disease? David Starn caught the strain when he was tagged for five earned runs on nine hits in three innings. His catcher, Billy Cribbs, explains. Uh, he's, he's leaving the ball over the plate a little bit. I mean, he uh, throws a two-seam fastball and he's just kind of leaving it over the plate. And, I mean, they, uh, they hit the ball well tonight, so mm -hmm. it's just one of those days, you know. Cribbs, however, had his own antidote and went two for three with a double. He says what was working for him. I was being a little bit more patient, and uh, they started a lefty, and I'm a right-hand hitter, okay. so, it's, so it's easier to see the ball a little bit. And just put a couple good swings on the bat, and, or on the ball, and it's just worked out. Breaking the trend of recent injuries, Matthew Robertson attributes improved health to his successful relief stint. I just felt healthy. My okay. back's been bothering me the last two weeks, last three weeks probably, so... Many things just felt healthy and my arm felt good and had more whip in my arm, so everything mm -hmm. felt pretty solid. But the Snakes would not be able to recover and fell 10 to 5. While it is just their second loss in the past nine games, there is no force of physics being interrupted. Uh, uh, your momentum's as good as your next day's starter. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. you know, so we get a good start and the momentum will be back on our side. Mm -hmm. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.